Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to pack my suitcase for Greece. I'm just taking a carry-on, just a hand luggage. So what am I going to pack? Let's figure it out together. I've got this very helpful list. Who got me this? I think Joel got me this and it was from Tiger. So it's really handy. It says everything you could possibly need for a trip. And then it's got a little tick next to it. So we're just gonna go through this list whilst packing my case. Let us begin. First things first, destination, Greece. Date, 4th September. Days, 10. Traveling with myself. Hand luggage, <laughs> lol. It says like hand luggage is its own thing and then it says like all the things that would go in your main luggage but since i'm only paying for hand luggage for 10 days i think this should be fine books say no i'm not taking any chewing gum i will buy at the airport notebook and pen phone i'll use my phone snacks no i will buy them bottled water no earplugs maybe earplugs are actually a really good thing to have earplugs come on seriously Ah, is this a joke? Let's say no to earplugs, because I don't have any. No, don't have any. Sleeping mask, don't have any. I wish I did, but I just don't have any. Travel pillow, no, don't have one. Travel sickness remedy, no. Money, wallet, cash, credit cards, passport and visa, driver's license, itinerary, maps and directions. All right, this is my little Leah purse. Oh my gosh, I just found some birthday money. Wow, okay, that's not going with me. One second, I don't want you to see how rich I am. Okay, cool, passport is here. Do I need this massive like thing that keeps stuff in it? Do I ever really use it? Not really, but do I want it? Yes. So therefore, we shall keep. So that's my wallet. Cash, no, I'm doing card. Credit cards, who takes their credit card on holiday? I'm gonna take my Monzo card and I'm gonna take my business card because they are the two cards that I think I'll be using. One is work and one is pleasure. So it just depends what kind of things I expense for work, for when I'm filming, blah, de -dee, blah, de -dee, blah. Passport, check, driver's license, I have no intentions of renting a car, but I will be taking my driver's license. Maps and directions all on my phone. Copies of travel doc. Nope, don't have a printer. This is really not a good video, is it? I just said no to everything. Medical insurance card. That's a really good point. We've got this thing in the UK where it's like European card. If you get in trouble and you need medical attention, you can present this card. I do have one. This is actually a really helpful point. Found it, found it. Right, okay. So expires January, February, March, 2020. That's my European health insurance card. But we're not even in Euro Europe anymore. That's what it looks like. I bet you can't even apply for these anymore because of Brexit. Thanks a lot, Rachel. Thanks a lot. Right, that could be chucks. I just missed the bin. So no health card, fine. Do you know what is alarming? The amount of tortilla burrito loyalty cards I have. That is what is alarming. Boots, there's always a boots in every airport. So let's take my boots loyalty card. Right, next. Medical insurance, no. Travel insurance, yes. It's on my phone though. Car insurance, no. Address book, no. Important phone numbers, no. I can see why these things are written down because if you lose your phone, you actually do lose all of this stuff, like all the maps, all the addresses, all the, everyone's numbers. So yeah, maybe I should write that down. Backpack slash day bag. Well, you'll be thrilled to know that I am going to be using Christie's bum bag, which says solo on it. Christy is a travel vlogger. She released some products this year for solo travelers. And the bum bag or fanny pack, as some people know it, is currently in my living room. So I'll go and get that now, I'll show you. This is the bum bag. So all I have to do is, like that's how people, that's how the kids wear it now. They do it in a stylish way. So basically this is actually an unreleased bum bag. It never got released. Christy ended up releasing one that was a different shape. So when she found this underneath her bed, I was like, can I just use that one? And she was like, yeah, go for it. It's a bit bigger than the one she released. Oh, my GoPro floaty stick so that I never lose a GoPro ever again. So this is my day bag, tick. I think that's enough for a day bag. I might take a little canvas bag as well. Like there's no way I'm gonna be able to fit that. That's just gonna take up. A... Gonna have to be minimal guys. Gonna have to be minimal. It's a bit alarming, isn't it? But there is no day bag whatsoever. Purse. Well, I'm just gonna do card wallet holder, which looks like that. 
It's got my driver's license in it and stuff. To be honest with you guys, do you know what? I'm gonna ditch this, my little celeb Leah purse. I got this made from Kiki K. Don't know if you know have that shop. And it's like boarding pass, which is now all on your phone anyway. You don't get given a paper. Then like Leah. I always get really nervous in airports because that's not the legal spelling of my name. So whenever I give my passport, I'm always like, because you're gonna think I'm a fake. So yeah, I'm gonna take my passport out, ditch this, cause it's kind of big. Bye, bye, bye. All this junk is coming out. <laughs> Great when you find stuff, isn't it? God, look at all the crap I accumulate in my life. Amex, Monzo, some English cash. This can stay here in my pot. We haven't even got to liquids yet. That's when it's gonna get fun. Where were we? Luggage tags, collapsible tote bag. Now that is something I will take. My Austin, Texas one. Yes, 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 yes. That is a fantastic bag. Right, this can be my collapsible tote bag slash day bag. That is fantastic. Yeah, I love that. I'm thrilled with that. The first item is in oh my gosh i think this the inside of this needs a little hoover as you can see i have actually laid a towel down underneath this suitcase because i can't bear for the suitcase wheels to touch my bedding and i think that's understandable but a lot of people would just be like you're strange well i don't like germs okay we move Right, collapsible tote bag, tick. Money belts, that's pretty much that, isn't it? But I think money belts are an actual thing. Plastic bags, what's that for? Laundry, yeah, laundry. Good to have a plastic bag, isn't it, for laundry. That can go in, wow, it feels weird to pack just a plastic bag. How exciting. Plastic bags, done. Laundry bag. That can be the plastic bag. Laundry kit. No, I'll buy that if I need it. Sewing kit. Sewing kit. No, no, no. This is someone who's very prepared. Umbrella. <laughs> Going to Greece. Oh, the journey. The journey there and back. Okay, um, no. I'll just deal with it. House keys. I'm not traveling for another four days, so I'm not gonna be putting the house keys in here, but let's just put a tick next to it and a little dot to say, make sure you remember that. Travel lock and keys. Travel lock, nah, I'm keeping that with me the whole time. No, mobile phone and charger. I can do that. Oh, Greek charger. Okay, oh my gosh, this is where it gets complex. This is where we need to ditch that and pick up my little converter thing. Oh, I'm so, I'm so prepared for that. I've got, I've got all the gadgets. Mobile phone and charger. Laptop and charger. Laptop. This is hilarious because I'm gonna be putting it in the case and then after the video, I'm just gonna be taking it back out because I don't travel for another three days. So anyway, I was putting my laptop in this little compartment here, which I think is really handy because when I go through security, I don't have to open up my entire case, have my tampons and everything fall out and have all of my clothes exposed to the general public. I can simply just reveal my laptop from here. So that's what I'm looking forward to there. It's got a little strap that I can keep it tightly tucked in. I got this in um, TK Maxx or TJ Maxx in the US of A. So that was probably one of my favorite purchases actually, this Calpac luggage. Laptop charger, I will go and get that for the purpose of the video. As well as my converter. My laptop charger is here. I don't know if that will fit in the front. It might make it a bit bulky. Let's have a look. <laughs> Okay, now for my magic box of white plugs, all countries in brackets. <sighs> Sorry, that's disgusting. Right, I think that should do it. No, that's America. Is that America? Okay, Google, what plug socket for Greece? On the website electricalsafetyfirst.org.uk, they say, for Greece, there are two associated plug types, C and F. Do you want a little more context? Yes, please. Plug type C is the plug which has two round pins and plug type F is the plug which okay, has two round pins with two earth clips on the side. Stop. It, operates stop. Two. It's round. All I needed to tell for her to tell me was, is it pin or round? This one's great for my laptop. And then I also need the one that does like four of them in one go. Ah, oh, I've got a feeling that's the one I lost. Oh, are you joking me, hon? Oh, no. I've got one somewhere that has like that and then it's loads of USBs. I've got to find that. Laptop, phone, 
that is the kind of thing you don't want to forget two of them i think that that will be fine i mean it's not ideal for someone who's got so much technology but it is what it is isn't it i love that i feel like i'm gonna get a response from behind the screen back to the list mobile phone and charger tick oh i also need to put on my other phone because i bought myself a sim card that's got some mobile data that i can use in greece because it was cheaper i found like a little deal on a sim only thing because if to add data to my contract was going to cost so much more so i just paid a one-off fee they gave me a new phone number and i've just got a one month one-off deal so that was good 100 gigabytes of data for 30 pounds not bad laptop and charger tick camera and charger well i'm filming with it right now but the charger can be put in the charger let's just highlight charger i'll go and get it in a minute music player no torch light no alarm clock no batteries let's put yes headphones put the apple ones in headphones travel adapter plug yes film and dvds i'm going on holiday <laughs> I'm not going to watch films. Okay, games, no, I don't play them. Music, it's on my phone. Let's just put download, please. Binoculars. <laughs> Binoculars. I mean, it's sweet, isn't it? For people that are going bird watching and stuff. Diary. Nah, it's all in here, babes. Underwear. Right, now the fun begins. We're on clothes. So, if you were going away for 10 days and you are going to do a wash once, I'd still put in 10 underwear, I don't know, <laughs> just in case. Oh, I'd actually have no underwear left by the end of this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do you know what? I'll just do six because I can do a wash and I will actually have like none left. Yeah, looks like I have six pairs of underwear total. So underwear, check. I'm going to put all of this in the compartment that can be zipped because I don't want, as I said earlier, anything to fall out. Socks. We currently have three pairs of socks available. I was hoping for more. Two black, one gray, one white. Four pairs of socks. It's gonna be a hot place. I don't think I'll need many socks. Bras. Lucky for me, all my bras are the same. So one bra, two straps. I have bras that do braless and, and as well as straps. So one bra, 10 days. <laughs> Bit gross, but I'm gonna be wearing bikinis most of the days. So that kind of doubles up as a bra. I don't really need the bra so one bra i think is fine nightwear i've got to be honest with you don't really wear much at night but i suppose i probably should since i'm staying with a friend nightwear but i really don't have much stuff maybe i can sleep in that vest top and a pair of pants nah nightwear that's just going to take up space bathrobe no that will take the whole case formal nah shirts blazers slacks skirts okay so i have this I have this, I have, oh yeah, I love that. Okay, I'm just gonna put all my clothes out and then we'll see what we have. Also, a lot of these clothes are Christie's clothes because she's really sweet and she gave me some stuff to wear. Oh my gosh, my favorite skirt at the minute, it's just like this plain denim skirt. It goes with everything. So I'm 100% taking that. I'm gonna have too many things, aren't I? That's more of like a evening one. That's more like on top of a bikini one. I've worn it in so many pics. I'm gonna have too much. I can just tell, I can just tell. That's one of Christie's. It looks kind of nice on for like a going for dinner sort of outfit. Right, so skirts and shorts. See, that's really taken up like half the K. Oh, this, which I will wear like most days on top of my bikini. That's like a, what do you call these? What are they called? This has a name, not a sarong. It's like a day dress. Like, what is that called? Someone tell me in the comments that's gonna bother me. Okay, that, 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 and that's kind of, nah, I'm not gonna wear those two. I've also got a pair of denim shorts, but I just don't think I'm gonna have space because I've still gotta get all my camera kit in there. It's not gonna happen, is it? I mean, I'd like for it to happen, but is it gonna happen? Probably not. I'll try it, I'll try it. One, two, three, four. Dresses, suits, tuxedo. This is hilarious. Casual, t-shirts, sweatshirts, jeans, shorts, sportswear, swimsuits. So far I've put four things that go on bottoms, two pairs of everyday daytime shorts and then two jean material, which I guess are more kind of evening-y. Although they're really not posh at all. They're just, in fact, they're just a bit bulky. I'll put that into a maybe pile. And then I put in the daytime thing that goes over your swimming costume and one white top. I better do some more tops, then I'll do all the swimwear. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is hilarious. 
me and Christy both bought the same thing from Zara. It just, you just put your arms in it on a plane and then that goes over your neck, but I don't want to get makeup on it. How funny. So you just wear that. I actually took a picture of it on a mannequin because I thought it was hysterical. Then I bought it, so. Here we have that, that is currently in Zara, guys. If anyone wants to buy it. That's <laughs> so good. Why is it genius? That is 100% going with me on the plane. Maybe the canvas bag can just be the thing I take on the plane, as well as the bum bag. There's some strange rules with UK airlines. They try to make you squeeze your handbag inside your carry-on luggage, just so that they can say, yeah, you've got one bag with you. So no, no matter what you've got on you, you kind of have to like squeeze it in. I'm not looking forward to that. So yeah, we'll keep that out. Oh yeah, Christy gave me this as well. Yeah, that's cute. I'll take that instead of the black shorts. So I've got quite a lot of tops. I'm gonna have to just decide on a few of them. Yes, yes, no, yes, no, yes. So they're all kind of plain. I'm a bit of a plain Jane sometimes when it comes to clothing, in my opinion. That's kind of it for clothes. Gonna have to be, isn't it? I'm gonna have to just bling it out with accessories. I could take one more thing, like I could take this pink skirt, a bit of variation. My sort of rainbow jumpsuit. See, I always feel quite happy in that. Maybe I should just take that for good vibes. And if I get any mosquito bites that will sort of wet tell them not to come near me. A very thin jacket for evening. So that's all my clothes, done. Da 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 da. Bikinis. Oh no, I've got to take that. I love that dress. That's so me. That's going. I don't care. We find space. Quite a lot of swimwear, but it's going to have to come because we're loving it. This one I did wear quite a lot last year, so I don't know so much if I'm going to wear that all the time. I've got loads of pictures in this blue one. New swimwear. I've got yellow this year. Yellow. You call me mellow yellow. Why have I got two bottoms? Right, I think I'm meant to take back this pair. I don't think I need both pairs of yellow. In fact, I think I kept it for a reason and I've just remembered why now. I think I kept it because I wanted to have the option of having high-waisted yellow. Like, imagine you've had a really sort of indulgent day. You just want to keep your stomach kind of contained. You've got the high-waisted yellow, but then on a day where you don't mind letting it all out, I've got the kind of low rise. Yeah, I'm gonna take both of those and just live my truth with them. I've got this white one, which I already managed to get some makeup on top of. So that's just wonderful. White, yellow, pink. I've already been wearing this in the UK and I'm loving it. So a pink one, that's three. That's quite a lot. Do I need four? I don't really have space. I'm gonna say bye to the blue one. Sorry. I think I made the right choice. Get away! Did I get it? Can't tell. Nah. Honestly, oh, I can't cope with them. Right, moving on. Jacket, we have the light thin one. Coat, no, unless I wear one to the airport to cover up the embarrassment of the sleeves. Oh, I didn't put my towel in. Where's the towel coming in then? Running shoes, casual shoes. Oh my God. How am I gonna fit footwear? I think I will take one pair of flip-flops, which are these Adidas flip-flops. They're not the most fashionable, but they are certainly the most comfortable flip-flops I have. They don't actually look that nice, really, but they are what they are. And then I'll take my trainers. Oh no, I don't know. Do you know what? This is not a fashion show. This is just a holiday. Get over it. Right. The flip-flops are in. Where on earth is my camera stuff gonna go? I need to get a GoPro in here. My G7X. I'm gonna have to be packing this and then maybe we'll stuff some stuff into this canvas bag for like airport vibes. Airport, the, the thing, that can go in there. Camera stuff, it's gonna be a tight squeeze. It is gonna be a tight squeeze. The towel, the towel hasn't even gone in. Do you know why it feels small? It's because the laptop case at the front is actually taking up a lot of the space here. I should tilt the camera down. Can you even see any of this? We're on the same page now. So, raincoat, no. Hat. 
I've got a nice one. I've got a skinny legend one, I think. I've got, an, a, what have I got? But my thinking is, does it go with everything? Oh my gosh, sorry. I cannot not take my snorkel. I literally bought this just for the trip. I'd rather take my snorkel than a hat. <laughs> Gonna be so fun. That is gonna be a tight squeeze. I might have to say goodbye to one of the outfits. My packing is gonna offend someone or many people. Casual shoes, they also happen to be my flip flops. Formal shoes, not taking any. I might just wear my Nike trainers on the way there and on the way back. And they can be my like everyday trainers and then also my travel trainers and then those flip flops on my everything else. That's just the only way I can think to do this, guys. That's from my GoPro. By the way, my GoPro hasn't arrived yet. And when I say mine, I mean Achilles GoPro. If you haven't watched the GoPro video yet, check out the cards. Go watch that, because that's fun. Oh yeah, I dropped his GoPro into the river. Never to be seen again. Right, slippers, no. Belts, no. Ties, no. Wristwatch, no. Jewelry, you bet. <laughs> that's my Ana Luisa stuff. Quite pretty. Um, take those bits. Hopefully they don't fall out. Oh my gosh, we haven't even got toiletries in here yet. We haven't even got makeup. Jeez. Glasses, I lost them, so I'll be buying some new ones at the sun, at, at the sun, at the airport. Toothbrush, toothpaste, dental floss. I think I'm gonna go manual, because I haven't got room for my electric. If I had a better manual, then maybe it wouldn't be so bad, but these ones are really shite. This is the size of the plastic thing that they give you at the airport to put your toiletries in. So I'm gonna take minimal toiletries because you can't take anything over 100 milliliters. So all that's in there at the moment is toothpaste. So I can brush my teeth on the flight before landing so that I don't feel so gross getting off the plane. I don't really know what my other priorities are gonna be in terms of liquids. I imagine a little bit of makeup and some like face wash and stuff, but I could just buy it once I've gone through security at the airport. That's always an option, I think. Shampoo, conditioner, no, I'll buy it when I get there. Hairbrush, you bet. Styling products, nah. Hair dryer, no. Flat iron, no. Accessories, no. Soap, deodorant. See, the deodorant thing, I am really weird about what deodorant works for me. And at the moment, this is the only deodorant that is working for me, but it is bang on 100 milliliters. So that's gonna take up like half of my, I'm just gonna have to do it. Unless they have a small version of these at the airport, like a really tiny one. I could risk it. Do I just risk that? But if they don't have it, then I'm gonna sweat. Girl gonna sweat. Razor, maybe need to razor my legs. There we go, that was quick. Razor, moisturizer, no. Face cloth, nah. Nail clippers, lol. Tissues, yeah, I've got some in there. Beach towel, yeah. Medication. Right. Do you know what? These lists are missing face masks. See, I've got one here, I might take a few. I know! I'm gonna pack my disposable mask thing. I can just keep my like disposable ones in there because it's not very hygienic to just keep them. So, you know what I mean, like in your bag. So I think that's quite a good one for the airport. Two face masks, done. Medications, painkillers, vitamins, birth control, first aid kit, hand wipes. I've got this like spray sanitizer. Obviously that will actually count as a liquid. So I'll have to put, that is, that is so annoying that liquids are now being taken up further by the fact that we're having to sanitize everywhere. Insect repellent, nah. My dad always says if you just think in Greek, they don't, insects aren't bothered by you. Sun cream, I'll take a bit, but I'll probably have to buy some more. There's no way any of this is gonna be. 200 mils, no. 200 mils, 100. Might as well just take that. We're on the verge of full. We haven't even put makeup in yet. Okay, the hardest stuff now is gonna be makeup and equipment. And we have like literally no space left. Makeup and equipment. <laughs> I found the converter. The converter that turns like all of your charges into one USB thing. So that's kind of good as long as I have loads of things that need USB, but I don't. But Christy might, so it's quite good to have in case my friend needs it. Right, so that's going in there. My Canon camera charger in 
spare Canon battery. I think I'll keep that in my hand luggage. Passport, purse. Do you know what? This is massive. This toothbrush is massive but it will make me feel a lot better. So I want to put it in. It just having clean teeth is, yeah, I'm putting it in and I need the charger for that. Makeup, makeup remover. Yeah, these are going to be the difficult things. My makeup remover is quite liquid, so that's going to need to go in. Jeez, Leah, come on, where is, wow. All these makeup things I didn't even know I had. Makeup remover, makeup remover. Okay, that's sad. That's all of the makeup remover I have, but it's going in. I think I might remove the sun cream. It's taking up too much, but it's kind of vital, isn't it? Oh, I know, I know, I know. I can just move it to a smaller tube, but that's kind of long. No. <sighs> Why is it so hard? Anyone else like me on the internet? Why is this bit the most boring? This is. So so, grow up Leah, you're going on holiday. Can life just be easy? Easy like Sunday morning. This is all stuff that's not liquid, but it's like within the toiletry region like that. The razor, maybe the hairbrush can go in here. Tissues, face thingy bobs. Guys, thank you so much for spending your... <laughs> Thank you so much for spending the last however long watching me, helping me pack. It's been emotional. Sorry. <laughs> no. <sighs> Grow up, Leah. You're going on holiday. I'm nearly there. Just need to wait on my camera stuff. Obviously, I'm filming with it right now, so then it will go in. And the GoPro to arrive in the post. Then I just need to put the makeup in. But obviously, I've been using makeup most days, so I'll probably just wait to put that in. Again, if you've watched till the end, that means so much to me. And I can't wait to see you in the next video. Chat to me in the comments. Please, someone tell me what that thing is called that covers the swimwear. I would love to know. Don't forget, I'm also on Instagram. I'm on Twitter. I'm, all my social media is in the pop-outs that come up on screen. So I'll see you over there and chat to you soon. Mwah. Bye. Oh, <laughs> if anyone wants a cameo video whilst I'm overseas with some lovely locations, then go to my cameo page, just Leah Hats or Leah Hatsakis on cameo, and you can book a personalized video message from me. I've done birthdays, wedding anniversaries, I've told someone off. I did a really weird one the other day that we won't talk about. Um, but yeah, you can do that <laughs> if you like, and maybe see you on there. Mwah. Bye. Under the sea. Under the sea Darling, it's better Down where it's wetter Take it from me Up on the shore They work all day Out in the sun They slave away While we